We okay, brought all the kids out and everybody, man, but they are going to be putting uh, pennies of their birth year. 2010 and 2012. Into the mortar so that way they know when we were here. It's always cool when the homeowners get involved with what we're doing. All right, guys, we are getting so close. We got the sand back in there. Gabe's finishing up, tidying up some corners over here. We're getting ready to backfill. We finished a coping stone. You know what? No more talking. Let's just show you. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. As we're going along, as you can see, Jack did a phenomenal job on mortaring all the joints. And so right now, we hey brought all the kids out hey and everybody. And of course, Dan, yeah, uh, just a little bit. But they are gonna be putting uh, pennies. Of their birth year. 2010. And 2012. Into the cement or into the mortar, so that way they know when we were here. I'll do Louis. <laughs> it's always cool when the homeowners get involved with what we're doing. day we got so much done when we bring a lot of guys out we usually get a lot lot more done and today we had our full team we had Jay Duke he made it yesterday he was held up by some fog but it just gave him a chance to rest because he brought his a game today got a huge concrete wall cut out with our one and only Juan and the one and only <laughs> so all kinds of great stuff happened we got that concrete wall cut out remember when we first started talking about this we said we were gonna bring a waterfall back through that so we cut that out. Our water level is going to come out a little bit higher than that. We've got some really cool rocks picked out to kind of create that waterfall. Jack and Dan came in here, finished our steps. Kids even took advantage of adding some dated pennies down in there. Commemorate the pond build. Um, I even see some little fancy jewels that they've set down in there. Really, really cool. So this is all done. Jack did a fantastic job cutting all that stuff. Ed, Chris worked on the stone bridge over there. I love it when we can create different elevations. So you'll literally come in high, walk down. That stone is an inch to three quarters of an inch above our water level. Then you'll come back up and that pathway will lead to a little bench that sits under this big old magnolia tree over in there. Pond is being rinsed. We got all the gravel in and another big big thing finished our wetland is done so if we come back over this way not only did we get the wall cut but papa single-handedly nah all day <laughs> had, had a little bit of help from our newest member of the team chris they got this whole wetland done so they got the snorkels in they got the extensions in they got our cobbles in. they got the gravel in the aqua blocks etc etc this has got an extension on it so we can come in here we're going to do our rock work we're deciding on a waterfall coming from this area or this area a hundred percent makes sense to come from this area because it'll be visible from that window but when you're looking down here it makes a whole lot more sense to come from over here so we'll keep that as a surprise for you guys who knows what we'll do it's been a busy busy day love how much we got done can't wait for tomorrow where we really button up the rest of this pond start getting it filled edges done miscellaneous rock work done we might even get the opportunity to get that sand beach finished over in there remember all that sand is going to come in through here i think i'm going to leave a little planting pocket back in that corner we've 
we've got a bowl that we're gonna add over here. We might even get the opportunity to get some of these rocks set in here, but we'll see. Till tomorrow. Bye. This sand beach is turning out incredible. As you can see, the guys are doing a phenomenal job on laying some sand down. And then you'll see back here, we actually threw a piece of cedar and some block wall. And what we're doing back here is we have our liner and that's coming up the backside of all of this. And we're just ensuring that when the kids are in here and messing around over time, the liner doesn't sag down and cause a leak, and especially up against the house. We do not want water pulling back underneath that house and causing foundation issues. So we're just going through, Dan's doing a great job, back filling all these blocks and laying down the sand. The rest of us are all all over here trying to finish up this intake bay. It is turning out awesome. I'm really looking forward to how these steps are turning out. Right now, this step is actually above water and pretty much all the surface water is gonna be squished yeah, between door. that frame rock and this step and it's just gonna come all flown into here and then back here is all our aqua blocks. So we have all our aqua blocks in down there. We have a skimmer that the Aqua Search 2000 is going to be in and that pipe just comes all the way around underneath that Nars bucket and discharges right at the end of my finger right there as you guys can see. And what that's gonna be doing is it's gonna prevent a lot of that debris from settling on top of this rock clog on the aqua blocks. And it's gonna allow the, all that debris to sucked up through the skimmer. And then we have what's well, covered right now. We have a pump vault down there feeding, which is gonna be two five to nines that are gonna be closed inside that vault. And one's gonna be for the jets and then one's gonna be for the wet one. out here intake bay is almost done over here but we are also dividing and conquering now and you see Ed up here getting ready to set our waterfall stone we got Jack over here in the skidster there he is what are you doing down there it's gonna be his counterweight for when we set this rock yeah what are you gonna do you gonna put the bucket ass out of that machine it's all you huh the rear end the machine oh, yeah, for yeah. YouTube. Yep, yep. This is about a ton and a half rock. the result that we got from earlier. I saw Chris earlier was talking to you guys and I'm sure he was talking to you guys about how wonderful this waterfall is turning out. It definitely took all of that machine to set that rock right there, but it turned out awesome. I cannot wait. Hopefully we're gonna try to get, I know um, earlier when we started this project and, we, and the rocks came, Brian and I were talking about hopefully getting a split waterfall off that waterfall. So it's gonna look awesome, especially with that little bowl, but it is turning out incredible. We got everything roughly graded out and tomorrow, if we are out here, hopefully if the rain holds off, we will be focusing on our wetland up top. Hey everybody, 
it's Brian with Team Aquascape. I am back out in Barrington. It is our final day here at our large koi pond slash rec pond. So much got done on Friday when I wasn't out here. Let's recap really quick and then show you what we got to do today and see if we can't fire this thing up for you at the end of the day. We've also got a new team. Some of them are natural born climbers. Some of them are electricians. Others dig really, really well. <laughs> and some supervise. We'll introduce all those guys in a second. But you can see the sand beach almost got finished. A lot of the sand came in. You can also see that the family was using it. And not just using it, using it aggressively. They've got little sand castles over in here. Things have been swept. Play toys have already come out. Patio furniture got moved down here to enjoy it. The pond got filled up. Jets got finished. There's a jet here. There's a jet over there. The bowl gets running, which is really, really cool. All of that got put together. Can't see it because it really, the camera shows like a wall of rock, but there'll be a really cool waterfall right there. Another one splits out of there, kind of bounces around as it comes down. We've got to finish up this little area. And then you can see these guys over here, more of the new crew, which is already working extremely hard. Just kind of hand placing some of these boulders in here. So we're going to get up into that bog filter, finish that whole thing. There's a lot to do, but we love our jobs. We love our jobs. We love our jobs. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. The weather has subsided. It's like a awesome 80 degrees out here and we're just loving what we're doing right now. We come up to the top. You can see they've got pipes run. We got to trench this, get this in through here and then just kind of button up this whole space in here and then we'll be uh, ready to rock and roll and get this thing running. Here we go. We are getting so close. We got the sand back in there. Gabe's finishing up, tidying up some corners over here. We're getting ready to backfill. We finished a coping stone. You know what? No more talking. Let's just show you. See, we brought in the rest of the sand for the beach. The beach just looks so appealing, especially because the weather amped up a little bit. Settled that bowl down. That bowl was shooting pretty aggressive. A lot of agitation up in there. I like it way more calm. It's going to be a little bit more inviting for birds. Also note how close we got that water level to the rim of that thing, making it that much more appealing for a bird to sit on that edge right in there. That's gonna be awesome. Gabe's doing an awesome job hiding all this stuff up over here. Both of us are thinking to take our shoes off and get in this thing. Oh yeah. Right? Sure. <laughs> all this is getting buttoned up over here. We threw a little coping stone on top of this wall just so the patio guys know where to bring their patio into. This stuff here is sitting about two and a half inches lower than this. So they'll have plenty of room to play with getting their thin set patio in there. Come back over this way. We gotta clean up some pump stuff and aerators and things. We got Zach finishing up some lighting over here in the waterfall. The guys from Long Island putting this boulder wall in here. You can see how high the liner is up over in here. We've got what we call a two foot rule. So whatever our liner height is here for our edges, we want that soil to come out flat two to three feet and then slowly taper. If it sits like this on kind of a 45 degree angle, first it looks very, very unnatural because you would never ever see a waterfall built up on a slope like that. The waterfall would come down slope but not run parallel to a slope so we want to bring our edges in high come out flat and then taper down so we'll probably still get another big boulder right in this section it's starting to look really good
when you're building them for the second generation. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> that rock is awesome. It might be like the single nicest waterfall stone we've ever used. I'm very proud of it. <laughs> I'm a proud owner. After two weeks and two days, we are finally done with this project. It turned out awesome. I could not be even happier about how everything turned out. It went great. The homeowners were ecstatic when we fired this thing up and they were more than accommodating with us. They fed us, they treated us just like their own. Couldn't be happier with them. Let me spin you guys and show you guys real quick. Let me just give you guys a huge shout out. There they are up there. They were the ones that helped us out the most. They fed us and kept us going even when it was hotter than heck out here. When it was 105 out, they were still out here with us, cooking for us and making us brownies and keeping the morale up high here. So I just wanna give, you, give them a huge shout out and I'm really happy for them to enjoy this future. Do you guys have anything to say up there? I can't wait. Yeah, and I already... We already have three fish in there? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you guys are awesome. Thank well, thank you. We really appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts, especially. So let me give you guys a quick rundown on what we did. So as we came in here, you guys saw, I mean, this was a blank slate. The only thing that we had was that wall sitting up there that we busted through to come through with our waterfalls. On this feature, we have a skimmer 1000 sitting underneath that rock lid behind that aerator over there. In that skimmer, we have an Aqua Surge 2000 feeding just a jet right here, kind of disturbing all this area and keeping all this agitated. So that way, no leaves or debris settle out on the bottom of the aqua blocks, causing issues down the road. Then back behind here, we have a pondless waterfall vault. And in there, we have two five to nines. You guys know the drill. It's the end of the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please feel free to leave comments or questions about this video or any videos that you guys see in the past. Please leave comments on them. We want to hear from you. We read the comments. We will answer the questions. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and please stay tuned for the next one.